Hello, my beautiful darlings, my sugar dumplings. How are you? I hope you're well. Um, sorry if I haven't got around to doing as many comments as I should. I'm trying to get ready for Spain. I'm um, what what Lorraine would say healing, but in a react. Um, so I'm trying to find it very difficult to get around to everything, but I'm trying. Um, today I'm going to do something I've never done before. Um, please forgive me. I saw your comment and I really should have screenshotted it amongst all the hundreds of comments. But someone asked about Lucifer and if he was real. Okay. Um, and so there's a mind, there's a whole minefield of answers I could give there. But you know what? I thought, why don't I go up to the Crystal Palace and, excuse me, I don't know if it's going to work, mentally ask it to whoever's going to be there and see what happens. So should we go for it? Again, I don't feel I need to crystal ball. I think I need to be closing my eyes. You may hear Teddy coughing in the background. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to use my what you call my fried egg, my zeolite. And for some reason, I'm going to use my angel quartz as well. Okay, don't look at all the stuff I've stolen from Darren there. Look at that. The amethyst with the white going through it. How amazing is that? So, um... Let's give it a go. Let's see what they say about Lucifer. Can't hurt, can it? Um, so if you bear with me, by all means, you can forward this on. I may shorten it in the um, edit. Look at me in the edit. Um, yeah, let's see. I want to know. I want to know what they say. So. Um, So yeah, they did um, give me a, a, an explanation of Lucifer that I put in my book two of Earthwalkers, the Dark Army. Um, be interesting to see if that makes if that's downloaded or I don't know. Let's go. Dearest Divine, I please ask that you allow me to go swiftly, truly, and. Deeply into the connection with the Crystal Palace. I see you monitor my energy. And allow me to go in with intent and an interactive question. I understand if it cannot be answered. I please ask that you now allow my consciousness to resonate with the frequency of the Crystal Palace. Sorry about that. The zero light's gone freezing cold. Um, my mum and dad just come and saw me. And Mia and Mina, my last dog, come running up. Which is totally unexpected and totally beautiful. I was just asking for another sign when I come back round. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Never stops getting emotional, no matter how long you're a medium for. Okay, I'm up at the door. Mum and Dad like, hello, bye, you may we see you in there. They're really happy, really, really happy. They're really excited, so things are good for me. That's good. I needed to know that. Okay. Gabriel's opened the door. Hello. Oh, my God. The love of angels is so powerful. It's taking me through um, celestial gardens. There's so much love. There's so much peace up there. There's so much colour and vibrancy and light that you will never imagine until you're there. The the wing of a butterfly, you can hear it resonating through the energy, like woof, and the colours just like tracers. The most vibrant colours you've ever seen in your life. I don't know why I feel so emotional today. Perhaps it's because I've just seen my family, but 
please don't ever worry about your loved ones that have gone up. They really are in the most heavenly state of being. I promise you. I don't know where it's taking me. Oh my God, I think I know. <laughs> well, we're going to the chambers of the archangels. Oh my God, I don't believe it. to Archangel Michael. Well, I'm in the brightest, bluest chamber. It's got a heartbeat, pulsating blue. And I'm sitting adjacent, Michael. But as always, I can just see his legs. He's got like a robe that's kind of like just below knee. But he's like gladiator type. This is how he identifies himself to me. I can't believe I'm sitting here. Oh my God, I composed myself and he saw he told sometimes left or right. I've still not um, noticed oh God, the significance of that, what, what, what side it's on. And there's just like an unseen breeze just billowing his robes and his legs and his feet. Now and then I see a flicker of his most stunning face. The most bluest eyes. I've got to get my head straight. I can't believe I've got up there to him. Wow. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Okay, come on. Archangel, I stand before you, Michael. Oh my God, hang on a minute. I can't. I'm going to have to do it in my head. I can't do it verbally. Hang on. Oh my God, I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, he just stamped the sword. So he's obviously. Oh God, I feel sick. Oh, okay. Some of the humans may not want to hear what I'm about to say. However, that question has been asked and I shall reply. Try and repeat after me whatever I impart to you. Whoa. Whoa, I just need to set on my chakras in, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. There are many planetary systems that I have held birth with the aid of Gabriel, Ariel, and the Seraphim. One of the most favorite planets that we create as a learning and younger planet is Earth. This is the youngest in the constellation in the universe and the galactic frequencies. It is a place for younger souls in the astral belt to learn and advance, as you would call the soul ascension. During the times of creations, we have had laser frequency 
we've identified each frequency that assists humankind and the universe as a human title. You have given me the human title, Michael. My frequency is blue. My frequency is strength. My frequency is protection, birthing planets and allowing humankind to be protected. You have no idea how much we are protecting you at this present time from yourselves, from each other. We work tirelessly to try and bring peace and, peace and calm to humankind. And we use portal mediums, as said by Gabriel, to bring our word to the human essences. The problems we have noticed over eons of time is what you would call the witch hunt. Our, what you call mediums, channelers, light workers, have been put in the shadows, ridiculed, not believed. For how could a human being possibly connect with divine energies? Let's just mention the name Jesus. The mediums that we have created, channelers, the human titles, light workers, empaths that you like to title them with, have over eons of time tried to bring our word to the earth plane. When we birth the planet, we plan to have a consciousness awake so that we could channel our word to humankind. The equilibrium of this communication has not worked well due to humans not accepting the word of the mediums. The most incredible person that we brought down here, that everybody listened to at the time, was Jesus. Seers, prophets, scribes wrote of his words and his teachings. We are baffled as to why other seers and prophets are not honoured in the same way. However, we do know why and how. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus was a human being connected to source. We needed a strong prophet and connector to let humankind know where they were, how they could heal and how they could consciously connect back to source. The first human that had the connection to go back to source was the Adam and the Eve that you would know them as. They were never given this name. However, this name has been given in the prophets, the seers and the scribes of the book you call the Bible. The first human consciousness was placed in these human beings, hence why in what you would call the Chinese whispers. They are called the first humans. Of course, there were humans evolving way before the Adam and the Eve. However, these were the first humans to have a consciousness, a link to source, a soul, if you like. When we birthed this planet with this new human consciousness, we had a frequency that you identify as the name of Lucifer. Lucifer was also responsible along with myself, Gabriel, Ariel and the Seraphim to help birth and keep these humans safe, to keep them well during their connection and consciousness. He was responsible for making sure that they were comfortable having the soul imparted into their human body. We all looked on in interest to see how the ego shell of a human being would resonate with an inner soul. Perhaps in your shallow version, it could be we would call them guinea pigs. Lucifer was there to stand by them. We also had a seraphim sibling, Sophia, that stood with him. There was one flaw in this organised event. 
Lucifer was allowed to be earthed and to stand and watch how the Adam and the Eve grew, nurtured, learned, created homes, created a love amongst themselves. And this is where the truth stops. For we now enter a viper, we enter the forbidden fruits. This is all the wonderful tapestry of scribes. Through this channel, we will explain. Lucifer started to resonate with human feelings and emotions. He craved what the humans were experiencing. The first celestial being to crave humanity, to crave love, emotion, ego. Sophia, the sibling of the Seraphim, saw what took place. They made efforts to blend with themselves as the Adam and the Eve did. They wanted to understand the intimacy between the two. Never could they come close to the human emotion, human feeling and being earthed in a human body. This made Lucifer resentful. The source could feel the frequency changing within Lucifer and he was asked to come back to the celestial home which you title the celestial crystal palace. To make this easier told for human ears we may sound like we are creating a story However, frequency, depth, eons of time of celestial understanding will fall on deaf ears, so we will keep it simple. Lucifer was in the frequency of the celestial layers, craving and wanting to come back down to the earth plane. The source, the omnipresence, the intelligence of all being and light creation was concerned about the frequency change of Lucifer. The omnipresence therefore told Lucifer that he could no longer go down and visit or be invoked by any human being leading on from the Adam and the Eve. Because he had spent so long down with the humans, he learnt the energy of resentment, anger, and he wished to overthrow the energy of the source. He wished to allow celestial beings to walk the earth plane. He wished their higher souls to be embodied in a human body to experience all that humans do. There is no way for me to evidence how he would have done this in human terms. Let us keep it simple for human understanding. For when you come up to the celestial layers, you will understand the pure process if you wish to learn. As you know, you have free will up here as you do down there. Sophia felt the resonance of the Lucifer and felt that the equilibrium of the universe was in danger. She alerted Michael and Michael alerted the omnipresence to the unsettlement that was continually growing in Lucifer's energy. Sometimes if I was a human, you would see a big smile on my face for these names have been given from the human realms. 
just so you understand that energy and frequency. The more that Lucifer craved, the more his energy became dense, like the dark evil energy of a human consciousness. He was attracting himself to human consciousness and changing his frequency. Sophia had alerted Michael, Michael had alerted the Omnipresence. The Omnipresence could not have a celestial layer that had such a dark, deep consciousness. He also took into account the equilibrium of the yin and the yang. Another human title accomplished from our learned Chinese. We say, or we see, or we read as humans, and Lucifer was cast down. He, in our eyes, was not cast down. He wished to resonate on the human frequency. He was told if he wished to resonate on the human frequency line, he could never come back up to the celestial layers as a pure enlightened being. He agreed. Again, notice the pronoun. We are they, we are I, we are he, she, we are. Again, all of this is slowly and comprehensively delivered for human ears. Lucifer gratefully resonated down on the earth plane hoping that the more he attracted himself to certain layers of energy in humans, the more he would also feel the human existence. Over eons of time, he realised that he could never infiltrate human energy. This created a darker, deeper resentment and energy that resonated throughout the planet as heavy, dark, you would see it as tar, black tar, black tar, black tar, thick, dank. Almost a smell that make your human nose turn. As he was no longer allowed up to the celestial layers, he resonates down on the earth plane and in the earth's layer however is not allowed to go too deep within the physical layers of the earth our mother Gaia would not allow this he remains in a limbo energy a frequency that surrounds human beings we had such great thoughts, perceptions of the humans, now that they had a soul consciousness, we saw no danger to the frequency of the Lucifer. However, the humans that we created with the first soul consciousness adored the land, adored the fruits, the nuts, the seeds, the fish in the sea to sustain them. They were very simple human beings, full of love, unconditional learning, peace, tranquility. The humans grew and they grew. And they reproduced and we started to see a change in the ego system we started to see comparison in human nature we started to see the jealousy sometimes hate competition but again we put it down to a frivolous perhaps small basis of the human ego structure that we really didn't mind. I will use the same words as Gabriel. 
ego structure. By the time of Jesus, we knew that we needed someone to bring peace and to show miracles of what we could create. There was too much ego on the planet already by the time Jesus manifested and incarnated onto the planet. He had a direct line to the omnipresence and repeated every word, behaviour and practice that we instructed. At the time, we were still worshipping the planet. Perhaps worship is a very strong word, but there was no need for control. There was no need for any religion to be instilled. The scribes, the prophets, the seers wrote at the time all of the miracles that were being created by Jesus. The strength of his word, his miracles, were literally connected to a higher presence. If Jesus was down on your earth plane now, he would be known with your human titles, empath, healer, psychic, medium. But with the human ego, look what those words create now. Look into your mind, look into your energy. These are the seedy humans on the Lucifer level that sit in tents, sit in structures, focusing on your energy, bringing you your future. Why have they lost so much authority in this short time from Jesus? And during this time, the words of Jesus were changed through ego. One of the biggest untruths are, if you do not find Jesus in your life, you will not reach heaven. There has never been those words sent from his mouth. There has never been sin that will cast souls down. There is no hell. There is a resonance that vibrates on the earth plane representing Lucifer, which we will talk of in time. And still today, mediums, psychics, healers, lightworkers, empaths are cast down, akin to circus acts. Whereas there are people, humans, that profess that if you haven't found Jesus, you will be cast down. You can only cast yourself down from your own behaviours and thoughts. For how is it that you can walk to a house of God and ask for your sins to be alleviated by another man that, yes, may have a faith in God, can say that you no longer are responsible for your sins? How can life be determined of whether a child is born or not? How can marriage be sacred? when in this day and age it needs to be broken at some point for the health and happiness of the humans. I will make it clear now, whatever creed, religion or race that you abide by, this is not desecrating any of your belief systems. I am merely showing you the truth of what we want to bring through this portal medium. This Bible the Quran, whatever you wish to adhere to. Remember has been written by many, many people. For there is no control in humans that just wish to live in tranquility 
and acknowledge their planet, to love their planet, to love their fellow humans, to love their fellow animals. That doesn't exist. Why do you think this planet was completely decimated by water at one stage? Yes, Noah did exist. Different name, but he was given this name. There are many things that did take place, definitely on this earth plane that were recorded. One of them was Noah. We did wash the planet of evil. Because we found that the longer humans were down here, the longer their ego started to stretch out to different emotions we weren't prepared for. And there is absolutely no prize, as you humans would call it, for anybody that would guess or know that Lucifer could start resonating with hate, greed, tyranny, pain, control. He fed off it and he fed it back to those that had those feelings within them. We had no, no input into this. We had no knowledge that the ego systems of all of these human beings would eradicate and quieten the divine connection to the source. And of course, because we remain in the celestial layers, we had no way to implement anything. For we were given free will on this planet as a human. So whatever takes place on that infrastructure, no matter what takes place on the Terra, you will face your behaviours, your actions, your words and your energy given out to the planet, to humans, to animals when you come back to the celestial planes. You will face your behaviour. This is why Jeremiah, as you know him as, will review your actions, your words, your thoughts, your processes. Why have we had to implement life plans by Metatron to try and keep you on a track of divine light? We recognise the ego has now created a massive problem for humankind. The highest ego structures are in leadership, are creating wars. And you now talk of the Yemen. Why do you think all of this hatred, this need for war, the need for your troops to come into these areas? Why? We are eradicating what needs to be eradicated. Forces will have to come in. There will be war. This will heighten Lucifer's energy in the Ukraine. This will heighten the energies in many other places geographically. He is embracing the energy of hatred, confusion, fear, tyranny, control. Don't listen to everything the media channels bring. We have this under control. It has to be. We need to restore the equilibrium. The dark forces have got into too many mind structures and ego structures. And we're alleviating that now and working very hard with other layers of frequency intelligence to bring peace and equilibrium. There have been far too many hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of years where vessels such as this one are speaking our word and are eradicated. As I mentioned earlier, the human word witch, which was a medium, psychic, healer, light worker, empath. But again, humans did not like the power that these people had. Humans didn't like the power of people that worshipped the elements. So they created Lucifer, this dark resonant energy, into the formation of a god that was deemed a deity of the elementals, Pan. And how did they create him, 
we ask ourselves as we look down on the human ego system. We create a half man and a half goat. We shall change the sign of peace from tradition into a pentagon, which makes us fear this sign when this sign was nothing but abundance light and a portal to the elemental energy. Why? The elementals, the sun people, they were all too powerful. They needed to be reined in. And how can you rein in human consciousness through fear, through wrath, through judgment, through reckoning? And so the rules were instilled. And so the sins were documented. And so the word of Jesus, if you did not take him into your life, you would be cast down. Down to where? We really don't know. If you wish to reside and live in this faith, fearful of your sins, fearful of not entering Jesus into your life, so be it. Most of the books you read in the name of religion have been changed to create a controlled element around you. We are not saying that you should not read them. Corinthians, but one. Let's not us judge. And yet we do. Your priests, your leaders judge you. They are allowed to be the God on the earth plane absolving you of your sin. I must not, I have been told, impart too much upon this word religion, for I do not want this to be seen as a hateful message to people that adhere to their religions and their creeds. However, think think about how much your religion has created the wars that we are now trying to eradicate. We are daily coming down and picking up the innocent, the blessed who have agreed to martyr themselves, to give themselves to the war. We bring them up every day and heal them, bask them in our beautiful liquid of life, our elixirs to bring these beautiful souls back to the pure being that they should be. Our galactic friends are absorbing a lot of the missiles. They're absorbing a lot of the energy and hate along with us. We are working very hard, but there are going to be two more conflicts that take place aside from Yemen. Please do not be feared. Please do not exude fear, hatred, resentment for the people that have perpetrated these wars. As been told to you before, send love and comfort and imagine in your minds, or if you can, your third eyes, your portal between your physical human eyes. Imagine cuddling, embracing these words, human words, coddling, allowing this love to be sent to the victims that are caught in the cross wires of these conflicts two more to come most of these will be taking place in the areas that are already at war you will not be unsafe you are completely safe this side of the planet you will be sending more military. Show me. Show me. My, Europe. America. North. UK. That band of energy going across the Atlantic. Nothing comes to us. We send military. There is another push around the Ukraine. Africa.
two more conflicts to add, more military being forced in. Volcano shall erupt. Why? The manifestation of the Lucifer energy. Mother Gaia does not sit well with a frequency that's just above her. The people that maim, hurt, kill, abuse, whether it be the planet, the animals, the voiceless souls, the children, the innocent, who all feed off each other and create abuse. We're eradicating this with your consciousness and you listening to the word of the portals. We will bring such peace and tranquility that hasn't been seen on this planet for a very long time. Of course, there will always be conflict for you have free will and you have ego structures. But a lot of what's taking place now needs to happen to get us back on our divine path, to get us back in the light. If you have hateful thoughts, if you have the energy within you to kill, hurt, maim, injure, harm, then you will easily attract the energy of Lucifer. However, most all that listen to the light workers, that create the light themselves, have no fear. You have nothing, nothing that can come to you that will bring you any harm or dark. However, those that listen to the words that have been put into the tapestry of the religions down there on the earth plane, they fear Lucifer every single TikTok day, as our learned Julianus would say. They voice him, they think of him every single time they pray to the omnipresence. Who do you think Lucifer will knock on the door of first? The one that mentions his name and sends intention of him not wanting to come to their door? Or the ones that don't even think of him for one single moment and just bathe in the light of the love of us? your human titled Archangels. Bathe in our love, bathe in our frequency, bathe in our light, our colour. For once you invoke us and allow us just a fragment of our frequency into your life, we are encouraging more light and colour on the earth plane. Lucifer's energy will never be removed from this planet. We just have to turn more human egos, thought processes into light so that his energy is weakened, so that we have more control over conflicts, leadership, love. The pure beauty and tranquility of the Adam and the Eve and the decades that followed those first humans with consciousness were complete oblivion. And it all went wrong because a celestial being craved what humans encounter. And it's so hard to believe that many humans send thought processes up to the Archangel. Whoa! Fancy, you start, it's big, big, bloody mistake. I left my watch on. Oh my God, I feel sick. I'm gonna have to go. Um, just 
I need to go back and um hang on. I'm so sorry, the connection's been lost. Oh my God! Bloody ringing it in my ears. Okay, Julianus is with me. Oh, for God's sake. What was he saying? I don't even know what was happening. Okay. I'm in a guide frequency now. I've come out from the frequency of the Archangels. <sighs> Raphael's just bring me some healing because my eyelids have gone green. Because I came out of that so fast. I just had to go and have some water. Oh my God. Can you just finalise it, Julian? So I can't. I don't know what happened. I can't, I don't even know what was being spoke about. Oh, shit. No, I know I can't do it again. All right. Um, right, I can't go back up to the chamber because I haven't got the energy apparently. And it's been broken down. So Julianus has said that everything that needs to be said is said for people not to worry. God. <laughs> I hope that one has addressed and answered the question from the human about Lucifer. Do not fear him do not allow him into your life through your own negative thought processes unless can i just say this unless can i just i might as well open my eyes because i'm so down here i'm absolutely gutted fuck's sake <sighs> I'm a dickhead not putting my phone my watch on the thing i'm so sorry okay um Oh my God, it's 55 minutes. Are you joking me? Perhaps it happened for a reason. Right. Um, hi, Ted. Um, yeah, unless you're a real evil monster by the looks of it, um, then Lucifer isn't going to come anywhere near you. I can't. I don't know where we were. I've got no clue what he was saying. Um, but I hope that all makes sense. I can't do any more. Um, 55 minutes. What the hell? I've got to play it back myself. Whoa, okay. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, lots of love.